Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is most from CalmanCode.com. Today I'm going to talk about how you can chain promises. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. So why would we want to chain promises? There are many reasons why we, we would do so, but one of the good examples is creating a chatbot. You can create a chatting bot by using the concept of chaining promises. So let me show you an example. Suppose that we have here a promise. Let's create a promise. var1 or var promise. Promise 1 or just promise equals to new promise. So we have a promise and we have the resolve and the reject and then as usual we just um, do whatever we want here so what I'm gonna do here is that I am just going to use the set set um, let me just zoom in set time out and uh, then I am going to display something let's display just a message after two seconds and the message will be um, here so here resolve and the message will be hi there and uh, and let's add all of this inside a function a function called promise generator or promise creator promise promise creator and the reason why I'm doing so because we want to create many promises and each promise will be created only after the first only after the first one has been created so after the first one has been created we can create another one after the first one has been resolved and then the second after the second one has been re resolved we can create a third one etc and in order to do so we can return return this promise this promise 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 here and after we return it we can resolve it we can use then to call another promise to create another promise and I'm gonna show you what I mean here and in order to make this uh, message dynamic let's here pass the message instead of just displaying it here so here we can pass the message message and now let's call the promise creator promise promise creator and also let's pass a message here hi there and then let's use then and the value that we are going to get we want to display it using the console log so here console log and we pass the result if I save and run as you can see after two seconds it's going to display hi there but this is not very useful it will only be created one what if we want to create a chatting bot we want to wait for the person for the customer to type something and then after a specific amount of time we want to display we want to reply to what he or she has typed so in order to create that in order to do that we can use the concept of chaining promises what I mean by chaining promises is that after we get the promise we can create another promise from inside so here from inside we can create another promise by calling the same function again promise creator promise creator and we pass the message that we want hi there I am I am good and then as you can see this promise creator obviously is going to return a promise so we can store the return in another promise var promise2 equals to the promise that is going to be returned from this from the 
promise creator inside the first promise creator and then we can use the promise promise to dot then and again we display use the result res for result to display what has been returned console.log and we pass the result now if I save and run I am going to get undefined because the promise creator returned returned this promise but we didn't return it to the promise to here we can just add return that way this promise will be returned to this promise to and then we can use then to display the um, we can uh, use them to display the um, the message if I save and run hi there and then I am good and notice that uh, it took four seconds it took two seconds for the first one to be created and then the second one took to another two seconds to be created if we want to create another third one we can just again do the same copy this part and paste it here paste it here and change this message to great and we store again we store var promise 3 we store it in another promise and we use again we use the promise 3 promise 3 dot then we repeat the process so here then and let's just use the result again over and over again console.log and we pass the result and, and by the way you can automate this instead of just creating too many expressions here you can create a function another function that will create this over and over again and also the message you can let the user pass a message and I'm gonna talk about it later and I'm gonna teach you how to use it later using the user interface now if I save and run as you can see first we get hi there and then I am good and then great and it took six seconds to be created all of these promises to be resolved so the concept of chaining promises is very very useful and powerful in JavaScript that's it for this tutorial if you liked this tutorial and find it useful make sure to subscribe share and like and I'd also like to know your opinion about promises and also check the description below because I have created a free ebook on how to make money online coding Thanks for watching. I'll see you.